What is up, guys? I am back with some more of our St. Louis Spirits, my league. And before we get into like the actual official first episode, there's a couple things I forgot to tell you guys in that first episode that I released Monday. It's the key components. I forgot to mention like the key components of what's going to be different about this series rather than some other my league series. So it's not just going to be me playing 2K and then talking over it. Like I got this huge idea where it's going to be hard to explain, but I have a little excerpt of it at the end of the video so you can get an idea of it. But I created this entire world in 2K. This is like including players that are in the NBA. I created some false players to help with telling the story of the season. Like this is entire story. I have episodes planned out. This is going to be like a movie, but in 2K. It's kind of... Do I want to say like, I don't know. It's just not going to be the normal My League series. Like I came up with this idea. There's a guy named, um, it's Blackjack Media. He made videos a long time ago. He has stopped. He hasn't posted a video in like a year now. But back in like 2012, this guy was huge because he created videos where he created stories with his NCAA football series. And I kind of took the inspiration from that, put my own twist on it, and kind of took it up to the next level. Uh, I wish he was still around so you guys could watch his videos, but he not. But anyway. So one thing I'm doing, right, aside from me normally release, releasing videos and me playing, you guys seeing the gameplay of the actual games, like once a week or maybe like once every two weeks, I'm going to be hosting like a radio show. So like I said, this is in my own personal world. So I'm going to be playing like acting as a radio host. Christopher Madison is his name. He's from St. Louis and he's a Spirits fan. Like right now he's a Spirits fan. And he's going to be telling you guys the like weekly news about the Spirits, what's going on around the league and things like that. And it's really hard to explain just me talking right now. So at, like I said, at the end of the video, I have a nice, well, it's not even at the end of the video. It's like seven minutes long of the very first radio show. And if you want to be featured on the radio show, be sure to comment down below the hashtag Spirit Talk. Any questions that you would like to be answered about our team, about the association, about these videos, and I'll be sure to answer them as Christopher Madison. So um, I created players to to overall help this thing grow. First episode I already have planned. Second, I think I got the first five episodes already planned out, like like headlines, storylines. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, I, I'm excited, and you guys should be too. Let's just get into it, man. I want to say thanks for 10K. We hit 10K Monday. We're at 9.6. We're at like 10.4 right now. So just in a couple days, we already just just thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys seem to be so excited for the series. and I'm ready for you guys to see it. So here we go. Good morning, St. Louis and NBA fans across the globe. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to the St. Louis Spirits Show, your number one source for spirit talk and news. And I'm your host, Christopher Madison. Today is October 25th, 2016, just one day before our spirits take to the court at St. Louis Arena to begin the season and also to begin the franchise. Now, tomorrow night, they'll be going against the Pistons of Detroit. But before we talk about that game, I think there's something we should do first. Now, since this team is new to the league and new to the world, people don't know about our staff. Our roster so today in this very first episode here on the radio I'm gonna be going through the head coach and all the players on the roster now our owners of the spirits did something unheard of when hiring the staff of this team usually when a team is new to the league they'll go out and hire coaches staff members that have some NBA experience whether it's head coaching assistant coaching like they try to hire people that have been in this situation before to try to kickstart the organization. But our owner, Jonathan McKenzie, did something completely different. He hired an entire staff and coaching that have no NBA experience whatsoever. Now, a lot of writers in the NBA are saying this is a really dumb move and a, a terrible way to start off the organization. But me personally, I think this is not a bad one, especially when you meet the staff. So let's start off with our head coach, Michael Goodrich. Now, Michael G. Rich is new to the NBA coaching scene, as I said, but spent four years coaching a Division II college in Florida. In those four years, he coached this team to three championships. No other Division II coach has ever made the jump from D2 to the NBA, so Goodrich has a lot on his plate right now. He has a unique coaching style. He's unlike any other coach I've ever seen. He is great at adapting to what he has on his team. So I watched some film from his first years or first four years at the Division II College in Florida. And each season, he had a new scheme, a new playbook, and a new mission, just depending on the players that he had on his team. And I think that's lost in a lot of coaches today. So I'm excited to see what Goodrich's plan is for this roster in his very first season. Jonathan McKenzie, our owner, decided to lock him up for a four-year deal, giving him $14 million across that span, and I think we got a good coach here. 
now that we talked about our head coach, let's go into the roster. Now, our average age of the roster is just 24 years old, the youngest in the league. There's no question that the person drafting this team this season went for youth rather than experience. Very similar to when we talk about the coaching and the staff decisions coming out with some very young players. Now, let me read you through the roster. The oldest guy on the team is P.J. Tucker. We drafted him from the Phoenix Suns. We got center Alexis Agensa, center Dwayne Detman, forward Willie Reed, who's from here in St. Louis. So he's going to be the hometown hero. Guard Pierre Jackson, who really has not made an NBA debut yet. He was a D-League All-Star, so we decided to get him. Forward Thomas Robinson, who's pretty much played everywhere. Think about since he's been in the league. He's played for like five or six teams in those four or five years. So hopefully he gets a home here in St. Louis. We got Joffrey Le Joffrey Laverne from the Denver Nuggets. Lucas Nogaria, Bebe from the Raptors. The guy's a beast. Seven feet young. I think he's going to progress to something special. Shane Larkin, Larry Nance Jr. in his second year. Jordan Adams and Rashad Vaughn. Now, those are the players that you guys know that were on the roster. But just today, the first news when it comes to the experience we signed two new players. Now, first is a 5'8 point guard from Valparaiso, Benjamin Horsley. Benjamin went undrafted in last year's draft mainly because he's only 5'8", and a lot of coaches look down on that. Think about Isaiah Thomas. He was the very last pick in the draft, but he progressed to be an all-star. So maybe Benjamin could do that too. But I've watched him play in college and the guy has a lot of heart he's definitely a prime time facilitator in college now will that transition to the pros i don't know it's bigger players better players so we're gonna have to see what he does but since there isn't a lot of depth at the point guard position we have shane larkin and pierre jackson i do think that horsley could crack the rotation pretty early in the season and i'm excited to see his transition from valparaiso to the main stage now the second signing is a 610 small forward from greece spyro Marcos and just his name alone I love Spyro Marcos now a lot of NBA scouting experts saying he's the Greek freak 2.0 mainly because he's long 6'10 small forward and he's from Greece but he plays nothing like Giannis um, he, he went undrafted because this guy is really a project when Giannis was drafted we all knew he was a, a project but we saw some promising things Spyro Marcos not so much man he has little playing ability a little playing experience but Goodrich and the staff are so high on this guy. They signed him to a four-year deal, locking him up long-term. So I don't think he's going to crack the rotation this first season. But on the side, I do think he's going to be progressing. And I, I do think that over the time, maybe next season, he'll crack the rotation. But um, that's something to look forward to throughout the season. I mean, I don't expect us to win a lot of games. I'm a Spirit fan right now, but I'm also a realistic NBA fan. And I'm thinking that we could crack at the most like 20 wins, which is cool because this draft is stacked. If we can go out and lose a bunch of games, get a high draft pick, it's kind of a lose-win situation. So I'm excited about this franchise's future. But now we talked about the team. We talked about the coaching. Let's go to the first game of the season, kind of a preview to what we're going to be seeing tomorrow night. So the first game, like I said, is against Andre Drummond in the Detroit Pistons. They finished with a record of 36 and 46 last season, just missing the playoffs. But in the offseason, they made some significant changes that I think that will make them a playoff team. First, they went out to sign the 38-year-old shooting guard out of high school, Kobe Bryant. Like Kobe faked us out. Kobe faked us out, man. We thought he was retiring. He got a call from Stan Van Gundy, and Kobe decided to come back to the league. 38 years old. I doubt that he's going to be starting, but Kobe can still do his thing. You saw what he did in the last game of his career. Well, we thought it was the last game of his career. Scoring over 60. So, I mean, you never know with Kobe. So, he'll be coming off their bench behind Catavius Caldwell Pope. And I think he's going to add some depth to that team. They also signed Zaza Pachulia, Sean Levinson, and Andre Robinson. Three players that are key players, that could be key players in this team's rotation coming up the season. That's why I think that they can be a playoff team. So in the first game of the season, I think our spirits will have their hand full, but it's going to be a great night for our city, man. We're bouncing back. We still have our hockey team. We still have our baseball team. We lost our football team, and now we're in the NBA. Now, usually at the end of the shows, I'll be going out and tell you what's going on around the league, but since the, the season just started, there's no news right now, so hopefully on the next episode, we got some talks and some trades, or what's going on around the league, who's leading the standings, but right now, we got nothing, and also, I would also answer some questions that you guys have, but it's the first show, so we don't have any questions just yet, but if you want your question to be featured on the next episode of this show, be sure to comment down below with the hashtag SpiritTalk. This has been your host, Christopher Madison. Thank you so much for listening.